Today I ducked up by jerking off to my neighbor master bedding NSFW. Last night I crawled into bed and was having trouble falling asleep. I was just laying there staring at the ceiling trying to calm my internal chatter when I hear a slight rhythmic squeaking coming from my smockin' hot female neighbor's room above mine. Knowing that she occasionally has male visitors over, which I have enjoyed hearing her groan from before, I started listening more intently. After a bit I hear some very slight moaning accompanying the steady squeak. Living in an apartment with paper thin walls, I knew that she was the only one home and surmised that she was in fact master bedding. Hot. So I start to get turned on and proceed to give myself a tug. She never really wavers in intensity, just staying quiet yet mostly even, rhythmically. I'm fantasizing seeing her fingering herself and moaning while I lead myself to orgasm and finish feeling rather satisfied. I lay there in post, ejaculate comfort and note that she's still going, still the same steady rhythm. MMMM I'm loving this still. So I lay there listening for a bit, close my eyes and try to sleep once more. After a little while I hear her get up and go to the kitchen. But I still hear the squeaking and the moaning while she's in the other room. I open my eyes with confusion and for the first time note that the sounds aren't all coming from directly above me. The squeaking is, but the moaning sounds like it might be coming through my open bedroom door in fact. So I get up and creep out slowly from my bedroom to find the source of the moaning. As I walk out of my room the sound gets a bit louder and more localized and familiar. I then finally notice that this moaning is actually my cat lying on the couch fast asleep, snoring. After a moment realizing my idiocy I go back to bed and also note that I've heard the squeaking before on other hot nights such as this, a rotary fan in her bedroom. TLDR, I jerked off to my cat snoring. Jerked off to pussy either way. Am I the only one who expected it to be his mom in another room? Today I ducked up by poisoning my cat, Parsley. This guy. Usually Parsley is a huge dillo cat, always wanting food and pats, biting if he doesn't get what he wants, sitting on my face, big duck energy without the balls. This morning when I woke up later than usual he was not up in my grill wanting food, weird but okay. He's sleeping curled up on the couch, when I say good morning he looks at me like, and gets up. Tries to jump off the couch, stumbles, lands face first. I laugh he gets up, and he starts walking weird, not limping just uncoordinated. Usually he's pretty vocal too especially when he's hungry, but he was completely quiet, his sister smacked him, and he barely even reacted. Now I'm freaking out, thinking he has a blood clot or a brain tumor or something. I book him in for an urgent appointment at the vet in half an hour. I keep an eye on him while we wait. At one point he tried to scratch his ear with his back leg and missed several times. When he tried to loaf he was sort of wibbling wobbling. He didn't seem interested in food until I started feeding his sister shenanigans. But luckily he ate, so I was feeling a bit better. At this point I'm crying thinking the mother ducker is gonna die on me like a bitch. We take him to the vet, he goes into his carrier calmly without incident which is very unusual. Vet tests his legs, stretching them out and rotating, nothing there. He often gets abscesses from fights but nothing like that. Vet checks his gums and teeth, his gums are a bit pale which is an indication of onion toxicity which is fatal. We'd had nachos the night before which has a been mixed with onions. I tell them he might have gotten some from the pan, since we didn't clean it up straight away. If the onion toxicity is bad enough he might need a blood transfusion to save his life. He's also slightly overweight and middle aged which makes him at risk for diabetes which can cause nerve damage when left untreated. He's kept at the hospital for the rest of the day for observation and blood tests. Vet gives me brochures on possible household toxins that are harmful to cats. I go home in tears thinking my cat might be dying and blaming myself for not cleaning up the freaking nachos last night. I read some of the brochures to calm down. I go through them thinking maybe he got to some lilies in a neighbor's backyard or he licked bleach out of toilet. Then there was the last entry. Marijuana. Oh ducking shut duck. Mother ducker I'd made some super strong cannabita last night in prep for a Patrick's Ways move night this weekend. That pot had a cup of butter and a quarter ounce of hydro. Simmering for 3 hours. Parsley also loves butter and the smell of weed. Doesn't put him off. Parsley has always been terrified of stoves though, 
from when he touched it while it was on, so he doesn't go near them while they're lit. I'd strained and refrigerated the cannabis quickly after making it, but I'd left the dirty pot in the sink overnight. I decide to check it and that bitch is suspiciously clean. Parsley ice and ducking dying he's just high as a goddamn kite. I have to call the vet and tell them my suspicions. His blood test came back negative for anything scary. He'd had 6 serves of chicken while at the vet and napped almost all day, played with some dogs and snuggled with some kittens. Methodica had a great time. TLDR, I made dank cannabita, left out the dirty pot in the sink overnight. Stupid cat licked it clean and had a real good time on my dime. I should charge him for it. Today I ducked up by getting a wall in my bathroom patched up. This actually happened over the weekend. The dry wall behind the tiles in my bathtub rotted out, the tiles fell off into the tub and broke. As I'm a single father, engaged but she's not really a stepmother my sons are older, 17 and 18, I'm super busy all the time. It has taken forever to find time to schedule a guy to come out and patch up this hole. Finally, I get a guy to come out last Friday afternoon. He starts to get to work and has to pause to run out to his truck to get another tool or whatever he needed and came back, had it all patched up within half an hour. A few hours later, my fiance tells me she needs to go to the emergency room. She has had bronchitis for damn near a week and was afraid it had progressed to pneumonia. We go to the ER, they get her a chest x-ray some breathing treatments and a prescription for antibiotics. We get home around 3.30 am. I get my fiance into bed, then nature called, and I head to the bathroom. I hear my cat crying. He's a big Maine Coon and the biggest baby ever. He sounds like a baby kitten when he meows, and I hear him crying his little kitty eyeballs out. I figure the big dumbasser has gotten himself locked in a cabinet, again, have I mentioned he's a big dummy? So I'm frantically checking all the cabinets in the bathroom, the kitchen, under the kitchen sink and he's nowhere. His crying is getting more and more pathetic. That's when I realize the crying was coming from inside the wall. The best I can figure, this dumb little shut had crawled inside the hole in the wall while the contractor was outside and remained in there hiding somewhere while the guy did his work. So, here I'm at 4am with a cat, stuck inside the wall meowing in the most heartbreaking and pathetic way he possibly can. The only choice I had was to take a hammer to my freshly patched up tile wall in the bathtub and break him out. Pictures of the little shut here. Pulling the big dummy out of the wall. He's out. Guess I'd be agitated too if I had been stuck in the wall for damn near 12 hours. I'm having a good time imaging the call back to the contractor. I'm going to need to to come back out as soon as possible and redo the work you just did. What? Why? Because you sealed my cat inside the wall. That's pretty much exactly how it went. Did he give you a I accidentally sealed your cat in the wall discount? He's going to do it free. Today I ducked up by showing my cat a plushie that looks like her. At the office today, there was a raffle for some stuffed animal toys, and I won one. I chose one that looked almost exactly like my cat thinking I'd get a cute photo of them together. I get home and put the toy on the bed next to her and snap a photo. She doesn't care, but hey, mission accomplished. Fast forward 6 hours, and I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I suddenly hear my cat howling up a storm, and look over to the bed, and she is crying at the stuffed version of herself. She's picking it up by the neck, dragging it around, setting it down, staring into its lifeless eyes, and just crying non-stop. I take it away from her, but she doesn't stop howling. Her fur is all puffed up, and her eyes look so scared. I think she thought it was a dead cat. I open the door to my room, and she bolts out, and starts cowering in the furthest corner of the apartment from my room. She won't let me near her. I feel like a villain. I love her more than anything, and now she's fearing for her life. TLDR, I brought a stuffed cat toy home for my cat. She thought I brought her a dead cat and freaked out. Edit, by request, I'm paying the cat tax. This is Mushroom and she's 9 years old. I adopted her 2 weeks ago, after fostering her for a couple months. Cat and cat toy. Edit 2, for people asking if she's okay, when I woke up this morning she was sleeping on my shoulder like always, so I think she's forgiven me. However, I'm never bringing a cat effigy into the apartment again. 
Thanks for caring about my cat guys. When I lost my first cat, my asso bought a plushie of her for me to keep in the living room so it wouldn't feel as lonely. I lived alone at the time as we were in an LDR and needed the company, so I kept it on the back of an armchair where she used to sit. And for a year now my new cat has always treated her like a real cat, like never tried to walk over her or invade her space, but will actually sit up next to her sometimes. One time I was working from my chair and knocked it onto the ground and cat 2 was in hysterics. I had to put it back and pet it as if it was real before she would calm down again.